by Professor Alan Dershowitz, who's appealed over 200 cases and is the author of Trumped Up, How the Criminalization of Political <laughs> Differences Endangers Democracy. Professor Dershowitz, you have four minutes. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm sure you were convinced by the brilliant argument of Mr. Mariotti that Russia tried to influence the American election. I was certainly convinced of that. The problem is that that isn't a crime. Maybe it should be, but it isn't. In 1812, the United States Supreme Court, right after the founding of our country, established a clear rule that said there must be a statute before there can be a crime. We reject the approach of countries that say you can make up crimes as you go along. The essential protection of our Constitution is statute first, crime only after the statute is clear. It is not a crime to collude with a foreign country. The United States has tried to influence many, many elections that have occurred in foreign countries. So I challenge my opponent to come up with the statute. He mentions conspiracy. Conspiracy is the broadest accordion-like crime, but you need to have an agreement to commit a crime. It's not a crime for a campaign to try to get dirt on an opponent. I'm going to make the extreme argument to you right here, and you will be surprised by this. Hypothetical case. I'm a law professor. I'm allowed to use hypothetical cases. This didn't happen. Hypothetical case. Candidate Trump calls Vladimir Putin on the phone during the election and says, Vlad, do I got a deal for you? I want to be president of the United States. You want the United States to help you get rid of some statutes that impose sanctions. Here's the deal. You help me become president of the United States, and I'll help you get the statute changed. That would be horrible. It would be awful. If it became public, nobody would vote for the candidate. It's not a crime. Collusion is not a crime. It's a crime in one context. If two businesses collude to violate the antitrust law, that's a crime. For example, if all the owners of the National Football League colluded to make sure that uh, Kupernet didn't get a job, that would be a crime under the antitrust law. But it's not a crime simply to collude. And it's extremely, extremely dangerous to target people because you don't like them. You know, yesterday it was Hillary Clinton. Lock her up, lock her up. It's a crime, it's a crime. Uh, emails, uh, the deal with Russia, with uranium, it's a crime, lock her up. Today it's lock him up. Tomorrow, it's you. Any of you in this jury box could be the target of a prosecutor who takes a statute like conspiracy and expands it like an accordion to get you. It was Lavrenti Beria, the head of the Soviet KGB, who once said to Stalin, show me the man and I'll find you the crime. That's what's going on in this country today. It's going on by Democrats trying to target Republicans, Republicans trying to target Democrats. We have to go back to a system where we strongly oppose what may have gone on. There should be a bipartisan commission established by Congress to look into the Russian collusion. Let it all be told to the American public. But let's not invent crimes out of political sins. Our basic argument has always to be Distinguishing sin from crime. Sin, the punishment comes from on top. Crime, it's we who impose the punishment for crime. This is all about the rule of law. This is not about Donald Trump. I did not vote for Donald Trump. I voted for Hillary Clinton. I'm not here to defend Donald Trump. I'm here to defend the rule of law. I'm here to defend you. I'm here to defend every American from the misuses of the criminal law. Thank you.